All right, I'm gonna show you a quick tutorial on how you can adjust uh, the audio for the Sunday live stream here on the X32. Now, in a perfect world, we would probably have uh, a second soundboard in a totally uh, sonically isolated environment so you could have the person running the live stream um, running sound without hearing all the stuff that's actually happening on stage from those speakers. But in our current setup, the way we have it set up right now, um, you, as the sound person, you are kind of responsible for doing both the live stream and the in the, the room mix. And how you handle that, or tackle that job, um, different people have different strategies, find what works best for you. So I'm gonna show you how you can change levels. Now, we know that in the room, if you've run sound before, in some setting you know, like you've got you know, your, your volume faders to adjust and mix the volumes together. Very importantly, don't forget you've got your gain setting up at the top left. So you can go to each channel and when you're sound checking, making sure you're getting a nice healthy level of, of gain on these. Remember you wanna be just maybe peeking into the orange here and there during the intense moments, but definitely with at least a couple bars of green most of the time. Unless it's super quiet, I guess. Sometimes you have that. Um, and so that's pretty straightforward. You can change levels on the individual channels. You can change the buses to bring up like all the vocals at once, all the instruments at once, uh, the drum mics at once, although you probably won't need that a ton in the room because the drums, well, they're drums and they're loud. Um, another sub, uh, another, I'm sorry, another bus, uh, you got the subs here that controls the level of the, the subwoofers overall. Um, and yeah, there's, there's all sorts of good stuff. Now, to control what is going to the live stream, you have to understand how everything is getting to the live stream. All the channels, instruments, voices, wireless channels, everything, even the, 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 the pro presenter computer, all that good stuff, all those channels are being routed to some degree into bus five and six, the video bus. The video bus then passes through a matrix, and to get to that, you've got to do this button down here, and it goes through the TV left and right send. Okay, now the matrix is, don't worry about it too much. As long as this thing's up, you're good to go. Um, if someone's complaining because the, you know, the, the TV out in the, in the welcome center out that way, um, you can bring this up, that'll increase the amount of volume going to the, the TV out there. But we just kind of leave this setting there. You're good to go, you don't need to mess with it. Um, but now you know where it is. So the sounds come, just to review, from all the channels, they filter through to the video left, right bus, which then filters through to the TV left and right send. Um, and that is what gets sent to the video computer. The TV left, right send also gets sent to the, um, to the TVs in the building, so that might be useful, but that's not really the live stream. So let's get back to the live stream, shall we? So we look at, like I said, buses five and six. That's the video left and right. Um, to find out, kind of change the mix, there are two steps, kind of two buttons you have to hit. First, hit sends on fader. This button, when you push it, will show you how much of each channel, how much signal is getting routed into whatever bus you select. So if I hit sends on fader, next important step is to select the video bus. Now what this is gonna show me is all of the things that are going from uh, these individual channels to the video bus. So whatever I mess with right now, I could bring everything down, everything up. You probably won't hear a difference in the room because these faders all represent the amount of signal that's being sent to the video bus. So if I unselect sends on fader, now I'm back to like normal in the room mixing mode. So that's what's a little confusing about this setup is that if you wanna change the levels on the live stream, you have to be sure that you've got one, sends on fader, and two, selecting uh, one of these two, uh, five or six, doesn't really matter. They're together as a stereo unit. So if someone is saying on the live stream, hey, I can't hear 
uh, I can't hear the guitar or whatever reason, sends on fader, light it up, pick the video one, and now when you adjust the acoustic guitar's volume on the fader, they'll hear more of it on the live stream. Um, there may be some bit of a delay for the people at home hearing it. It's not like instantaneous, but um, you should be able to hear it. Um, and here's how you can hear what you're doing. This is another added fun layer. What you want to do is solo the video left and right bus. And then if you have your headphones on, you'll hear what is going through this bus and only what's going through that bus. So um, you can kind of monitor what you're doing for the live stream there. Okay, so it's a little tricky going back and forth between the live stream, sans on fader, and then what's happening in the room um, without the sans on fader activated. Um, the other thing I've been told is that, let's see, with sans on fader, you don't really need to worry about things being, you can leave everything unmuted because if you have something muted on the normal mode, that mute will override the sans on fader and it'll mute for the um, for the live stream as well. So you're here, you're working the mix for Sunday, you've got all your channels, it's looking great, everything's great. Um, the band is practicing, let's say. Um, I would recommend make the mix sound good, send on fader, select. You can have this so loud so you can hear it. Um, and then put the headphones on, set the mix so it sounds pretty good, pretty overall balanced. And then once you get that nice balance, you can then Unsolo the video bus, unselect sends on fader, you're back to normal in the room mixing, and you can mess with in the room. And you know, if, if you get a comment from somebody saying they want to see something adjusted, I'll you know leave that up to your discretion. Um, you can always check back and listen to what the live stream is hearing just by hitting the solo button over here as well with your headphones on. Um, when you're trying to monitor what's going on on the live stream without being affected by the room too much. I recommend using these um, these Vic Firth uh, headphones. They get a pretty good seal, and you know press them against your ears to make sure you're not hearing the room sound. Um, and that is how you can uh, adjust the levels of things going to the live stream. How you can monitor the live stream, and how you can switch back and forth between in the room and uh, on the computer. So just one more time, if I wanted to. Uh, Increase say the person who's preaching on channel wireless channel four here. Let's unmute them just to be safe Sends on fader Select one of these two buses and Look wireless four is here. We can give them more oomph going to the video send uh, the video bus and that's how you adjust levels for the live stream